Welcome to Spray Lock Nation to another wonderful day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We love concrete as always. We're going to talk about concrete. More importantly, we're going to talk about testing concrete and we're going to talk about permeability. Yes. Except for the test really isn't a permeability test. It's, we're going to talk about EN 12390-8. It's water penetration. Sure. And that's an important distinction. Uh, we found that EN 12390-8 is a European standard testing uh, water penetration under hydrostatic pressure. We found that it is a nice test for figuring out uh, how a certain concrete compares to another concrete right. and how it accepts water under pressure for five bar or 72 and a half PSI for 72 hours. You're shoving water in this concrete and then you and then uh, uh, you take some measurements. But before we get in too deep, I wanted to explain one thing or, or to the viewers, and I know you know this already. Um, it's very important when measuring permeability that you don't damage the concrete during the conditioning period. And a lot of tests, unfortunately, out there uh, through the conditioning periods using high heat or something like that can cause uh, micro cracking to occur and those kind of things. So one of the reasons I like EN 12390-8 is because the conditioning period is really harmless to the concrete. So we stick the, we take concrete cylinders, yep. typically, or cubes if you're of the European uh, school of thought where you make giant cubes. But uh, we take those samples, we put them into the machine, and uh, crank just, them down. Yeah, yeah crank them is, down because you, you don't want them just to be loose sitting there. Yeah, so you've got some gasket material and it fits tight and nice in there. And this is where Fred's going to enter it, you know, stick a shot of our machine. In, in, in the video, most likely. And then we, <laughs> and then you, you turn the air pressure on, you shove the water in, you leave it sitting for 72 hours, and then what do we do? Let it sit for 72 hours. No, uh, one thing you forgot to mention is, if there's a failure, oh, yeah. so if water comes out the side, water comes out the top, you stop the test immediately, but at the end of the testing, whether you have a failure or you're not, you cut it open and you look, measure the penetration that the water went actually through. Yeah. And that's how we're actually getting the water penetration. And the difference between it and permeability is, while we do know a, a depth, we're not actually getting true water movement all the way through it. Right. So we're not able to get a K value because the, the timing is not precise enough, the volume of water is not precise yeah, enough. Yeah, like you would with a soil sample, for instance. Right. Yeah. So uh, from that information, we can we can make some informed decisions on on how the concrete is, is performing in, in a water penetration kind of situation and, and compare diff, different technologies one to the other on what is helping to stop that water under hydrostatic pressure from getting into the concrete as deeply. So that's what we want. Yep. We want water to stop getting into concrete, bringing contaminants in. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. We really love making these videos and I'm, I hope you enjoy watching them. Please comment down below and uh, or send us an email, uh, visit our website and uh, or call Josh on the phone. And uh, with that, we'll see you next time. Thank you.